saying uh, by avoiding answering it of what? Lenny is doing a Marcos or is borrowing from the Marcos playbook? Oh. O mga idol na niya si Marcos ngayon? Seems like. Seems like. Lenny doing a Marcos. Hindi uh, bilang avoiding nga uh, uh, itong mga bagay na to. While Mayor's ko is always open for uh, push and push and uh, so. answer uh, the issues against him directly and square him. the point na nabibigod na nga sila. Marami na ba sir na disappoint kasi marami sana manonood yung, yung pagkikita nila sa comedy debate uh, buka sana. Sunday. Sa, sa Sunday. Pero hindi. So uh, siguro doon na uh, all the three presidential polls will will uh, pressure Lenny to really speak up on, on the withdraw movement nila. So sa tingin niya sir, Uh, she might be in danger of losing her credibility among her supporters mismo if she the, or among the soft, uh, Len, soft voters ni Lenny kung hindi niya harapin ito at sagutin ng derechahan do you think uh, well, it could be a factor there? Let, let me just say uh, so, so si baka kasi mga misconsum si Mayos ko lang naman yung nanawagan na mag-withdraw si Lenny yes, yes. naman kasama siya No sir, what I'm referring to yes, yung, yung yan, they, uh, them asking uh, asking uh, Laxon, Isko, and uh, Gonzalez to withdraw uh, and then she's uh, refusing to answer that. Uh, you think na yung mismo mga followers niya want uh, her to answer this if, if she really did yeah, that? I think her hard, hardcore followers will uh, continue to yes. propagate whatever campaign na uh, Pero mali na nga ang soft votes niya sir. Ah, mali, high votes niya. Play, no? uh, as to her soft voters, uh, again, if, if the soft voters are looking into the candidate's character yes, and yeah, integrity, uh, I think it, 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 it will be clear to them. No? Yes, uh, we yes. don't have to tell them that I think that uh, sa, sa sarili nilang uh, pagninilay nila, makukuha nila na baka mali yung kanilang iniisip na pwede nilang support. Kasi meron pa naman sir, mga religious dyan. So, this might factor in sa mga prayers nila, sir. Ah, sana. sana, sana. <laughs> sir, ito rin na uh, uh, sinasabi bakit daw binabanatan natin yung number two and then not number one? Ah, I think kasi lunod masyado sila sa pagtingin na sila yung pwede talagang tumalo kay uh, Ferdinand Marcos. But the numbers are not showing it. Yes. Uh, of course, we have SWS data. One, uh, I don't know if they have a new uh, trust rating, but uh, last year's trust rating, prior to filing, uh, the vice president was plus 24. Yeah. But after filing in December 2021, the data showed that she was only already plus one. So, nung nag-file pa siya ng presidency, naging minus 23 pa siya. Buwasan yeah. pa siya ng 20. It's already only positive one. The publicus, I don't know about this, but uh, just saying, you know, uh, I don't have much faith in publicus, but of course. <laughs> anyway, just to also say, you know, the uh, si vice president was minus 9.11% uh, in trust rating. So it clearly shows that I think maraming Pilipino ang hindi siya pinagkakatiwalaan o hindi siya gusto for one way, for one reason or another I don't wanna say things no? uh, perception nito ng maraming Pilipino and if that's the case you may be number two right now because of what? number one, you have very good optics with your campaign rallies for whatever, ano, for what's the word talaga namang ma- may bandwagon pa effect yun for some people na uh, kahit pa ano, uh, right in the middle, neutral between hating her and uh, you know, wanting to go to Marco. So probably they could get uh, certain numbers. However, yun nga, doon sa Tang Reserve, minus 45 siya. Uh, pl- uh, si, si, plus, uh, siya yung ano, no? 45% of the respondents are saying uh, they will not vote for her on the election day. Siya yung most disliked candidate. Yes, you know? yes. uh, And also, to the point na the second top choice ng mga mga putante natin in all surveys, whether that's uh, SWS, Pauls, Tangere, is mayors ko. That means, siya yung mayroong pagkakataon makagrab ba 
ng boto. Si Vice President Robredo is either number 3 or number 4 pagdating sa top second choice. So, ibig sabihin, wherever she is right now, at 24%, 22 sa iba, that's her number already. Nag-pick na siya daw. Tingin ko, doon na siya. Oh. Uh, baka swerte ba? Baka maka 20 point pa. Uh, but that's not enough to beat Marcos, who's at around 50%. So, pero hanggang nagpapakita naman na Marcos is less than 50%, like with Tamari, so only 40, there's always a chance that someone could beat him. Kasi hindi naman siya pa majority. Pag 51 yan, wala na talaga. Pero at this point, uh, different numbers are showing different things. No? Internal surveys, internal surveys of other camps are showing uh, that he's less than 40, uh, he's less than 50. And uh, Mayor's Coast gaming. And I think with this uh, uh, character call, na yeah. karang, uh, pinapakita niya yung character ng kanyang mga kalaban, parang uh, pinapakita niya na these people cannot be trusted. Yes. Yeah. Really reinforce siya lang yung idea na yun yung, yung perception. Really reinforce siya na ito ay katotohanan. Na hindi na lang siya perception. I, I think they'd be hit hard, they'd be hurt, and uh, Mayor's Coast will be Patas ang patas. Ito ka, sir, uh, uh, yung Manila Pen na uh, uh, tap nila will, will, will not bring in uh, or cause switch Marcos uh, from soft Marcos voter to Isco? Uh, well, I think so. Uh, kasi kung mag-focus pa rin tayo sa mga platform pa natin, yung mga nagawa nga sa Maynila no? at then the extent point biggest speed to sa agenda which is the part he's doing right now we have switched to his compressed constellation yes, right, yes. among the yes. centers no? we talk about it so I think yeah in fact kung sabi nga sa akin yung attorney Bo Rocco no? uh, he's the one doing the press calls in uh, in the now the past few days and since last week sabi nga you could tell me curious about that uh, is a uh, Sunday press call no? yes yes, yes. Uh, hindi sila apektado doon sa hindi sila nagagalit kay Mayor Scott. No? Uh, in fact, para nung gusto nga ng sentrohan, uh, ano yung fact, ano yung dahilan bakit we should switch to Scott. So, issue-based pa rin naman ang mga tao. And uh, they wanna also know uh, bakit uh, nawagal si Mayor Scott na mag-withdraw si Len. So, it was answered squarely then na uh, ito yung mga dahilan. So, but uh, they, they, they were not affected by the gender issue. Yes. Uh, uh, so they, did. They, they didn't think bad of me as well for calling, for, for calling out the things. No? Uh, parang uh, sa kanila, uh, naniniwala pa rin sila that me as well would be able to, uh, would be able to uh, uh, springboard, so to speak, to do to it. Uh, sa kanila yung survey sa ating election. <laughs> o, sa lahat ng viewers ni uh, Dean Arman Nocom Subscribe kayo rito sa Vlogcaster Dean Arman At uh, mag-iingat po kayo mga kababayan Always keep safe and practice uh, physical distancing May awa ang Diyos, makararaos din po tayo sa pandemyang ito